I was voted as the Tusha for Cameron Warwater community in 1996. And I served until 2006 when the Armenian Act changed. The leader, the Tusha has to change every three years. So I was changed. Election took place in 2009. They brought me back. In 2012, they brought me back. And now, to, to 2015, they brought me back again. So it actually, like next year, I will complete my three years. Serving my committee might be like 18 years, 19 years. Um, it was strange for me because I have never seen a female two show, female community leader. And I was advised and encouraged by administrative regional officer to take the challenge. And I took the challenge and I learned a lot of experience. I found challenges, criticisms. Although you do something, they are not seeing, the minute you make mistake, that is the only thing they are. Um, I also was a women's group leader. And I must say that through American People's Association, the workshop leadership capacity, women's, con women's um, workshop. So that is, I attend all of those. And that is how I think I am a bit you know, strong in, in leadership. In 2015, I was voted as one of the executive members on the National Two Shops Council. That this is the highest body representing Armenians in Guyana. And I was the only female, 20 males, one female. Last year, 2016, National Two Shops Conference, two males resigned. And because of equal opportunity, they said more females on the executive body. So two came on board last year. So we are three now, three females on the end. Whenever we have workshop pertaining to like land rights, land titling project, I am willing to go out and visit other communities other than my community. But there is no funds to go out, so I remain in one community. The good thing that the the, the NTC started along with the APA, American People's Association, and the Ministry of Indigenous Affairs is to look at the present American Act 2006. And th this month we had, like two weeks ago, we had a workshop and we're now looking at it. We have the opportunity you now to, to put what we want in the Act, especially to protect our land rights.